for a relationship, um, one of the best things that I can tell you to do is if you're looking, it doesn't mean you won't find one. You will find exactly what you're looking for. If you're looking, now it may not turn out to be what you want. It may not turn out to be how you want it. Uh, you may find out what you thought is not what you thought if you're looking. So the best way that, and, and I will tell you this for myself, don't look for one. Take your mind completely off of it. Because if you entertain the thought of looking for one, chances are you're not going to get what you think you're going to get. You can be open to having someone to come in your life. And for women, oh, having okay. a man come in your life. Okay. And for brothers, having a woman to come in your life. You can be open to that. But when you become desperate, you sort of lower your vibrational magnet. And that desperate eater mm -hmm. energy put you in the position of picking up bottom feeders. Now, mm. you want to know the science behind it. You want to hear real talk. I'm giving it to you. You will pick up yes, yes. a bottom feeder. Now, just like most bottom feeders in the ocean, they don't come dressed like bottom feeders. You think that you were skimming mm -hmm. across the top, getting the cream of the crop, only to find out it's a bottom feeder. Now, this just mm -hmm. isn't for the brothers. This is for, I mean, for the sisters, this is for the brothers too. So take yourself out of desperate mode because you start to broadcast a signal to the universe. And that signal is saying, I will take anything Literally, anything. You 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 understand <laughs> that means that you're telling the universe, I do. "I'm I do. desperate. Just send me anything my way. Any body, anything. You just mm -hmm. want a body. It just needs to be a man, and send me that. And oh, by the way, no, no, that's not." Code him mm -hmm. with my energy so he can feed me all the shit I want to hear. How he's been looking for me my whole life. <laughs> how I am the one. Yeah. You know, that we are soulmates. We are twin flames. All of this. It happens. Mm. Instead of something that is progressive. Instead of something that you can say, I'm truly in the business of learning about me. And that will mm -hmm. come. Because the honest answer is this. And these are questions I've asked myself. You are a beautiful, intelligent woman. Of course you can have somebody. Of course you can. Of course you can. But you have to really understand what is it you're looking for? Because nine times out of ten, what we think we're looking for in a man or a man looking for in a woman or someone looking for a mate is we're looking for someone to complete us. And that's the big mistake. Most of us are either in lust or lack when we're looking. And it's nothing wrong with either one of those states. But those two states is not going to bring about wholeness. So the challenge then becomes to ask yourself that question, that impeccable question, what 
is it that I'm truly looking for and someone to be with me? Write those qualities down. Because you need to know okay. what you're trying to put out there. And then honestly ask yourself, do I exemplify as a woman the compliment to that? Or as a man, the mm-hmm. compliment to that? Or is this some shit I'm lacking and I need somebody else to fill the spot? Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? See, that kind of changes the energy. It changes it. So, you know, sometimes we can get so creative as sisters. We say, "Mm, we want them to have a good job. Okay. So ask yourself the question, do you have what you call in a good job? Do you have one? (laughs) Mm -hmm. Because don't you (laughs) think somebody who got a good job wants somebody who got a good job too? Or we do the opposite because I've been there too. I don't care what he do. Long as he good to me. Really? That's a dangerous statement. Mm -hmm. If you're not willing to be there. And then all of a sudden you find yourself in the relationship where you're the one paying all the bills. You're the one doing this. And then you find it's overwhelming because the balance is not there with the other part of the relationship that you need fulfillment in now all of Mm -hmm. these scenarios can work but you have to understand where your values are and what I've found from women sisters I've done readings for they don't have any values And we have allowed ourselves to be put in so many different positions when it comes to dating. And so we have sort of this place where we've allowed ourselves to accept things that we don't value. So women will be in relationships with men that cannot claim they ass in the arena where they're doing most of their work, or where they hang out at. Nobody knows you. And I was watching a television show where this woman was on there. It was either Judge Judy or one of them. And she was talking about why she wanted a divorce from her husband. And at the time, it was hilarious to me, but it made so much sense. And the judge said to her, she said, why do you want a divorce from this man? And she said, your honor, because I found out he was community property. Uh And we all started laughing. I'm sure the people there live was laughing Mm -hmm. as hard as I was laughing and the people watching it on TV. And the judge said, what do you mean? She said, I realized that no one knew me. That he belonged to the community. Everybody, every woman in their whole little apartment complex, he had done ran through all of them. Before they got married, that's why he didn't want nobody to know that they was even dating. Because he belonged to the community. So we have allowed ourselves to take this position. We have accepted that in order for us to be truly evolved and conscious, we have to be open to Mm -hmm. all types of relationships. Now, if you are in agreement with that, then there is no problem. But if you're not, and you accept that, then that becomes the new standard. But here's something I want to Mm -hmm. challenge all of us to think about, women or men, because it can happen both ways. You are now setting the standard for other women, for other men, and for your children. The moment you accept these conditions, it becomes the new Mm -hmm. standard. That's the new standard. Yeah. Then the other thing is, 
We're just so happy to have a man. I just feel like that clip from The Color Purple, we need to just play it. I, I was married now, Daddy. I was married. Don't get me wrong. I work with and I know a lot of amazing brothers out here. Just like I work with and I know a lot of amazing sisters out here. And there are many more amazing brothers and sisters out here. It doesn't mean that they're good at relationships. So you got to mm-hmm. know you. Right. And so it starts with us. If we don't have good relationships with ourselves, it's going to be a struggle to be in a good relationship with anybody else. So that whole notion of loving yourself, which I totally think we need to take that out of existence and we need to find a new way to express that because it becomes so confusing. Like, how much do I need to love myself? How much longer do I need to love myself? Well, the answer to the question is, until you know it for real. See, we can bullshit the whole world, but the person you should never bullshit is yourself. And it's not to say that you can't get into a relationship until you got yourself perfectly together. I'm certainly not telling you that. Or hell, nobody would be in a relationship. But you have to at least be willing to look at yourself and love yourself unconditionally. But isn't it funny how we will love someone else unconditionally, but we will not give ourselves the fucking time of day. Yeah. We won't give ourselves the time of day. There are literally people out here dying for other people. But they're not even willing to live for themselves. So we have a new breed of vampires on the planet and they're feeding off of us looking for love outside of ourselves. Mm. They are literally sucking the life out of us, our children, our families, and our bodies. Because we are looking for love in all the wrong places. And if we would simply take that love and look for it from within ourselves, then you'll attract more love (sighs) than you could ever imagine. And the question will not be, can I find a man? Is which man or which woman is right for me? Not right for your bullshit. Not right to do things that you don't have the guts to do. Not to take care of you and to provide for you and just pay your bills and you can go off in la la land and do what the hell you want to do. but someone who's truly willing to build with you. Or women who are so quick to take a damn man that has children to take their fathers away from them, to have a baby with them so he can abandon you next. Yeah. 
These are things that we must begin to start thinking about. And oh, brothers, we don't have enough time for me to go in on you. So we'll stay with the sisters for now. But we have to think about this as women. You know, the elders would say if there was a woman and she had young children, you are to leave her alone. Mm. If you are a man and he has young children, leave him alone. But Mm -hmm. somehow that is code word for other women. I want to snatch you away from your children so we can have a baby. But, oh, I want you to be with me and my baby. What about the other children? Who's going to be with them? Or if the man has children, then all of his exes become bitches. Really? So you think you're the only woman that gets him. Really? Or you young Mm. sisters, you're so caught up in what you see on social media, what you see on YouTube, what you see out in the world, people pretending to live life, pretending to have love. That you run off with the first Tom, Dick, and Harry that comes along the way. The first brother, it could be on the internet. Swipe left, swipe right. You're ready to run off. Next thing you know, you carrying around some package, some disease, some shit you can't get rid of. Then you meet someone you really care about and you don't want to tell him all your discretions or what has happened. So now you pass it on to him and he passes it on to someone else and it continues. The truth is we are all in relationship with each other. I know you didn't call in for all of this, but (laughs) (laughs) no (laughs) <laughs> you opened up the doorway. We are all in relationship with each other. What we're truly looking for is intimacy. And one of the things that I've learned, because I've learned, I've loved, I've lost, got the t shirt is that you have to get intimate with yourself. This is not about who's the most clever, who's the most sexiest, who can have the biggest ass, the biggest titties, who has the most money. This is not about that. Who has the most education? That's not who wins. You win... When you can be intimate with you. You win when you can love you. You win when you can lay by yourself in darkness and be okay. Because then you know whoever comes to you. However they come to you. That you can trust yourself enough To be open to the love you say you truly want to receive. We have got to, Mm. brothers, sisters, and our children, start using our intuition more. It will save us so much heartache. It would stop the running rampant of disease being passed on, 
it would help us elevate our community, our people, our children, our culture, if we would just trust our intuition. There is not one person who's been with someone or in the wrong relationship that did not have the intuition come to them to tell them this is not right. But you did it anyway. Because you wanted something so bad that you were willing to sacrifice your values, your morals, yourself, and everyone you love. You didn't give a fuck. So now that you got what you wanted, I hope you liked it. Hope it was good. And hope it was worth it. All of us will have those stories. But here's the thing. You don't have to. That doesn't have to be you. It doesn't have to be. That's not the way the story has to end. So it all starts with you. And I know that you're doing work on yourself like all of us are. Loving ourselves, honoring ourselves. Of course, everybody gets lonely. But the sad part is there's people in relationships that once it was the greatest in the world. And yet... Now they're lonely. So what happened to forever? What happened to it? What happened to the last love? What happened to the person you was with? What happened? We've become a society of vampires and throwaways. So we have to make sure that we understand what love is to us. And it's not like taking a shot of heroin. It's not like getting high on Friday night. It's not like smoking weed and just want that feeling to last. And soon as some rocky waters come our way, we jump ship and move on to Mm -hmm. the next one. Mm -hmm. So remember, it'll be a lot of boats that come by. And you can go jump on the first boat that's going out if you want. I don't know about y'all, but I'm waiting, waiting for the boat to keep floating by. Because what you don't know is behind all those little boats, there's a yacht coming up. But you couldn't see it because you was jumping at the first boat that came your way. So love yourself. Mm 